Griffin Pump and Equipment manufactures a line of pumps for the construction dewatering industry. Among those is one of the most classic, the Griffin self-priming trash pump. A self-priming trash pump is different because it doesn't have a compressor or vacuum assist system. It relies on water to create a prime and is considered a wet prime pump. In order to prime the pump, it's necessary to make sure that you have a level of water in the balloon. Here we will demonstrate making sure water is in the balloon. On this, the self-priming trash pump, the way it's designed, it has a fill port on the top section of the pump. Prior to starting the unit, you have to fill it using a bucket, a hose, or in some situations where you're desperate, even a hard hat. As you can see, the unit has already been primed. So the port can be installed. If it's not primed, you would remove the gasket, take the bucket, and fill. The other features on a self-priming trash pump, typically they can be diesel driven as shown here, or electric driven. The engine has a number of shutdowns for low oil pressure, high temperature, also records the RPM and it's a variable speed so you can maintain your pressure or head depending on your pumping situation. The pump head itself has the features depending on the solid side, whether it's for pure water or for solids control, typically has a clean out port on the back side and drainage. We will now demonstrate starting the pump so you can see the pumping cap uh, capabilities. On a Murphy switch, you press in the tattletail button, engage the starter. The pump will start to prime. The pumping is already beginning. 